Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So what's going to be going on in this video is I'm just going to be talking about the pros and cons of having a black box and my experience for a year of having a black box. Although my year isn't up with a black box, it's almost up, it's in around a one and a half months time. So it's almost up to a year. But I wanted to really like make this video now, so when people do obviously uh, pass a test like in the summer they know whether if they want to get one or just know more about them in general so first of all the company I went with was Tesco Banks Insurance so with that obviously I have the black box and basically they came out and fit it for me some companies they allow you to fit it yourself so they send out like a little diagnostic uh, black box or they put it on the battery where mine's sitting. So you're all probably thinking how do I monitor my progress? So what I had was I just went onto a website and obviously the Tesco one and basically I just logged in and it gave me like a traffic light system. I'll show you a little clip on screen now of obviously what you see on with the Tesco one and some companies they do an app so like Aviva and more than I think they do an app and loads of other companies do apps as well which obviously it's easy for you to access because you just download it onto your phone if you've got Android or iOS, iOS. and once you've downloaded it you just monitors your thing some uh, insurances do have stricter like rules with like times and that but the one I went with, I didn't have no times and it's pretty chilled out to be honest. And I definitely recommend Tesco. With having a black box, it does bother me, but it doesn't bother me. The only thing that bothers me is about when people like sit up your ass, and obviously you can't help that because you've got to stick at the speed limit. And obviously you should be at the speed limit anyway. I'm not encouraging people or saying I'm gonna speed. I'm just saying people just don't obey the speeding zones where like 40 or 60 they still do like 16 or 40 or an 80 in the 60 like it's just stupid so so the pros of having uh or the advantages for having a black box is basically it lowers your insurance by a lot like i had quotes that were like 1700 1800 and some going up to like three thousand pounds still with the like without a black box and i was just like i'm not paying that for a year so obviously then the black box popped up and it was i went with tesco as you know and they charged me one thousand three hundred pounds so that's a big gap of like money where you can save for like your first year of insurance and driving by having one as well, it also acts as a tracker. So say if mine or yours got stolen, they could easily track your car. You just call them up saying, oh, my car's been stolen. Can you find out where it is? And they'll tell you the location of it or they'll help you and send like police or something to where the current location is. Also as well, it doesn't encourage you to speed. Like I had a week, just over a week, without a black box also obviously i didn't speed but i just knew that if i wanted to i could obviously i didn't because obviously i knew i was gonna have a black box and i didn't want to obviously get into a habit saying just staying above the speed limit when if i get basically when my black box is fitted i can't obviously speed so so now we're on to the downside to having a black box so the downside is you can't obviously speed which obviously isn't a bad thing but if you wanted to like overtake someone obviously you'd have to go up and slightly over the speed limit say if you're in a 30 and you needed to go 35 you need to overtake a cyclist you could and yeah so another thing is you won't have a tracker obviously some cars modern cars now they have a tracker fitted so you don't have to obviously rely on a black box to be your tracker and obviously your piece of security for your car another thing is that 
they can just be a nonsense with like times like some companies they put a time curfew on so that you can't go out past a certain time and it, you have to be in by a certain time to so say if for me i didn't choose to have one or i went with a company that didn't have a time curfew because obviously i used i worked late obviously past 10 o'clock and some companies they tell you that you can drive from six in the morning to say eight at night and then you the yeah, air and then all the other time obviously you can't drive it because it's out of the area and obviously you get a bad score what I suggest doing as well is you should research into the companies and see what you get and see what the time restrictions are or if it has any time restrictions. So when I looked into mine, I just uh, looked into it and seeing if they had any time uh, constraints and that. Because if you needed to go out somewhere at like a late time or pick someone up, from say a hospital appointment, etc. You can't because you can't drive your car because the box is completely like stopping you from doing it. And obviously that's not the agreement you've made with the obviously to have in your insurance. So you're all probably wondering, am I keeping a black box? I'm hopefully getting rid of it. I've looked at some prices without one and they're around 900 pounds and some companies are saying with a black box they're over 900 pounds so it's like on the verge of i'm not really bothered having it but if i don't have one i'd rather not have one not because i'm going to speed not it's just so that no one is watching me and i know i can just drive so if this video is helpful please give it a like if you don't like it just give it a dislike but obviously comment down below and tell me why you didn't like it and I just hope that this video is helpful and gives you sort of an understanding what goes on when you have a black box for like a UFC insurance so with no further ado hope you liked it comment if you want and if you liked it please like as well and share with your friends obviously if they're gonna get a black box and just so it gives them a little bit of information and background obviously about a black box insurance so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one